Uh, of course, <laughs> I sing, I do the weather, you know what? And yeah, right. yeah I just do everything. I'm multi talented. Hi, everybody. Uh, Betsy Kling is just off for the six o'clock hour. However, she will be back for uh, 11 o'clock. So, in the meantime, let me tell you what's going on in the weather world. You are slowly going to see the winds picking up not only overnight, but also tomorrow. Let's talk about these temperatures, though, as well. You're going to definitely need the heat and the PJs tonight as we'll see temperatures dipping down into uh, the middle 30s. So because the wind is going to be an issue tomorrow, the National Weather Service has issued a wind advisory. It goes from uh, 10 in the morning to 5 in the afternoon, and it covers pretty much all of our western areas, including Erie, Huron, Lorain counties, Medina, as well as right here in Cuyahoga County. The winds right now, they're pretty calm right now. They're ranging anywhere from 3 to about 10 miles per hour. We got a light breeze out of the south, but overnight you're going to see that uh, we're going to start to see those winds gusting up to anywhere between 20 to about 30 miles per hour. And then I think tomorrow after the 10 o'clock hour, that's when things are really going to be get rocking and rolling around here. We are going to see winds gusting potentially upwards of 45 miles per hour. So it won't be as powerful as we saw over the weekend. And that was and that's because those winds were associated with a cold front that pushed through. This is pretty much associated with two storm systems that are pretty much battling it out. So here are a couple of the concerns that I'm going to have for you over the next uh, 24 hours. I do think we will see a few more power outages. We will see a few more down trees. It'll be isolated, not uh, as full as we saw the over the last uh, two or three days uh, from Sunday into Monday. And if you have any holiday decorations that you hung up would highly suggest that you make sure they are locked down and they can handle these winds. So the reason why it is so it is going to be so windy is because we are pretty much sandwiched in between two different pressure systems. We have a low pressure system up in Canada and we have a high pressure system to our west. When they get very close together like they are when we are sandwiched in between them, they're basically battling it out and that's the reason why you're going to start to see some of those strong winds. Now, National design by our forecast. So tonight we're going to drop down to the low to mid 30s and see partly cloudy skies. And then tomorrow it's going to be, I think, a decent sunrise and we'll be waking up to temperatures in the upper 30s along with partly cloudy skies. Tomorrow afternoon we are going to end up seeing the sunshine and it'll be a mix of sun and clouds and temperatures topping out in the upper 50s. I do think one or two of you might even hit the 60 degree mark. Universal Windows Direct seven day forecast high for tomorrow, 60 degrees. And then on Friday, we We'll also see a few breezing conditions and we'll see temperatures improving to around 60 degrees. And then this weekend, we'll drop down to the upper 40s, Russ. So hopefully you have a kite uh, because let me tell you, uh, you're going to need it tomorrow. It'll be pretty cool to see the winds go back and forth. Ah, good to know. I'll buy your latest album too, Jason, while I'm out tomorrow. Thanks a lot. Yes. Oh, yes. yes.